Once again, time traveling. I'm back. All right. Well, did I go forward or backwards? All right. I'm back. I, yeah, I think I went back. We're going to be talking about the rhythmic breath today. Make sure you tune in. We're going to have a good time. Learn the power of your breath. Learn the power of vibration. And of course, learn the power of a moja. The unity, y'all. See you in a second. Bring them out, 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 bring them out. All right, wanna salute our ancestors. I want y'all to notice that one got a special glass for y'all, right? We got a special little blue glass. I'm gonna have to give me a clear one so that y'all can look at it. But this one is a. Uh, it was pretty nice. It caught my eyes. Hey, man, I need another grown folk glass, right? Because we drink like grown folks when we on the journey, right? Mm. Man. And this one holds a little bit more than that one. starting to like water so much I'm, I think I might have to go and get me a goblet so now I don't know what's popping off with Facebook because at one point in time it used to be like you're sending out to let your friends know that you're broadcasting I don't know maybe they just do it automatically or maybe they don't do it I don't know so So what we're going to do today is, all right, y'all see that? I told y'all I was going to be working on the cherry. This is not ambrosia. This is just cherry juice, right? So I'm experimenting with tasting, sipping on a little bit of the cherry juice. Um, tart cherry, which they say is supposed to help with insomnia. Um, also helps stimulate the brain. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it has some good stuff. We'll talk about it a little bit later. But I'm going to mix that with a little bit of ambrosia. See how it works. Out. I haven't tried it in private yet. But usually my mixture is like 50 50. So, I'm going to start with a. In this next batch, I'm going to start with about one of these. So, y'all be the first ones to taste it with me. So, I want to just put it in my in one of my, my favorite glasses so that you can see what it look like. Because I know black folks love red Kool-Aid. We love, we, we love the red Kool-Aid. So, alright. So, we're going to toast. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this 
this glass is a lot bigger. I like that. Y'all might not be able to see this stuff no more, man, because uh, I'm going to um, start talking up in my little blue cup. Get the little blue vibration going on. All right, today we're going to be talking about not only emotion, unity, but we also are going to be talking about the rhythmic breaths because we've been talking about breathing and stuff like that and uh, the breath, the power of breath. And like I said, I'm really, really into the power of breath. So those that's joining me on YouTube know we about to get it in. All right. So here we go. So first, give an honor to the creator. I'm drinking for the creator, creator, toasting the creator. You know what I'm saying? Raising our glasses to that infinite power and asking the infinite power to be active in our lives, right? To be around us and, and to help mold and shape us into who we are going to become, right? And who we are, allow us to act in who we are because that's what our power is. We always talk about that. So we toast that creator by whatever name you choose to call the creator and we say, I say, from there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on our mothers and our fathers. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our great grandmothers and great grandfathers. We call on our uncles and our aunts. We call on all of those beings that gave us life. We stand on the shoulders of giants. We stand on the shoulders of wisdom. And we toast them and ask them to be present in our daily lives. We we toast them knowing that hell for African is being forgotten. So we never never will forget our ancestors so we toast them and we lift them up and we say i say from there we toast this moment today is a mojo and we toast this principle in this moment because in this moment is where all of our personal power lies so we lift up our glasses and we toast this moment and last but not least we toast our children our children's children on to infinity we toast them today so that they can toast us tomorrow. We toast them because we realize that everything that we are building today is for them, right? So we toast them and we say, I say, and I keep saying last but not least, but I don't mean that. We toast any challenges that any, we, we do a, to a special toast for anything that you got going on in your life, anything that you want people to know about, anything any prayers that you need, any energy, we ask our ancestors to move for us, right? Like I said, in order to get what we want in the universe, we got to know how to ask. We got to open up our mouths and speak. So we toast any of your challenges. Toast my challenge. I got a major challenge coming up right now, right? So we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say, I say. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Thank you for joining us, Facebook. Oh, my fault. Let me drink it. Y'all ain't seen me. Hmm. I'm add a little bit more cherry. a mixture with a mature ambrosia. I got a young batch downstairs that's about to that's about to jump off so we're gonna see. Alright and we got some experiments to carry through. So Facebook I will see you tomorrow. YouTube let's get it in. Oh my fault let me do this. Time on 
understand why I just can't do what I'll ask it to do. Ah, I forget. All right, Facebook. Thank you. And I'm out. I can't even post up what I need. Y'all, take it easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all stay there. So, let's get into what we need to get into. I meant to pause. I'm sorry. All right, so... All right, so got a couple of seconds. Let's do it. Got a cup of that oil. Gonna do a little oil letting this morning too. Jump jar, start the system to coconut oil. We're gonna be looking into some African foods real soon too. Talking about the advantages of some of the food and stuff like that, right? Well, we're going to switch the order today because this one messed up the spoon. I don't feel like getting no uh, black seed oil for those wondering. Last but not least, got that red palm oil. about the rhythmic breath right and the book I'm pulling from is a great book one of the first I ain't gonna say one of the first book, but what well, actually is the first book that got me really into learning about meditation now, I've been I've been I'm, as a young person I mean like about 9 10 11 12 I was exploring uh, meditation because of a show called uh, Kung Fu and and, you know, I, I wanted to really get into martial arts, and I thought meditation was a big part of it. And, and it was, but it's not as much as it used to be, you know what I'm saying? But the whole meditation piece. So, <clears throat> the breathing, this book introduced me to the concept and the power of breathing. And the reason I'm going to write a breathing is, 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 is twofold. Um, breathing... It's something that we do every day, right? It's something that we can actually focus on. It's something tangible. It's something that we get immediate results. You can start feeling immediate results, right? Because I could have went the meditation path, but the meditation path is a little bit harder. Why? Because it's, you got to steal your mind and you know what I'm saying? You're not really focused. You're supposed to focus on the breath, but you're not really focused on the breath in a way that the science of breath, the book, Science of Breath, had you focusing on the breath. So, um, and um, one, that, that was, that's one reason, right? The, um, you can focus on the breathing. Um, and, and, and two, you don't, it don't take a lot of skill, right? It only takes dedication from you, right? So now, with this breath piece, by you breathing, you know, the, 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 the stuff that this would do for you is ridiculous. So, um, maybe 10 years ago, somewhere around there, I did a, a, a rhythmic breath meditation. And I posted it up on an app called, uh, I got I to gotta get the app to me. Hold on. The name of the app is Insight Timer. There's a meditation based uh, timer um, that you could download on your on your uh, on your phone, right? Apple or Android. And I uploaded. Um, well, I made I made a CD with one of my friends, um, the DJ Kid Magic hip-hop based rhythmic breathing um, CD and um, 
basically posted up for free on Insight Timer. And at this point in time, we got over 4,000 hits. Uh, people are, I mean, people are loving it. You know, we get some complaints about the horns and stuff like that. But anyway, I shared this with everybody. I shared that meditation, I think, with everybody that's on the uh, Guzu Sapa Challenge. Because the breath is very important. And by you focusing on the breath, it gets you to a point where the meditation is easy, right? After you do the med after you do the breathing, and you get the breathing down, then it's easier for you to fall into a meditative trance. All right. So now that I did that, and I'm sharing that free with you, and those of you on YouTube that's not on the Google Cyber Challenge, if you are interested and you want. The um, meditation is called Meditation by the Numbers. You might be able to find it if you just type it in on um, on Google. It's called Meditation by the Numbers, right? You get it. Um, if, you, if, if it's not free, you know what I'm saying, and you don't want to download the, uh, the app and get it, you know what I'm saying, you can just hit me up. And I will send you a copy, um, an MP3 of Meditation by the Numbers. And that was done by me and DJ Kid Magic, by the way, once again. So, now let's go on and look at what they say about the rhythmic breath. Today is a mojo, by the way, right? So, I want y'all to focus uh, on that for a second. Yes, sir, I got my little, my little black professional bag. Got my stuff up in there. Got my cheat sheet. Is today is the day of unity, truth, and uh, um, and the hermetic law of mentalism. Um, the male name today is Quojo for all those born on Amoja, and the female name is Agua. All right, so we got that out the way. Um, I don't see too many people ain't putting up the ancestors, so it's cool. All right, vibration and rhythmic breathing. All is in vibration. And we, we talked about that before, right? From the tiniest atom to the greatest sun, everything is in a state of vibration. There's nothing in absolute rest in nature. A single atom deprived of vibration will wreck the universe. Now, I want you to think about that. I mean, in incessant vibration, the universal work is performed. Matter is being constantly played upon by energy and countless forms of numberless varieties result. And yet even the forms and varieties are not permanent. They begin to change the moment they are created and from them are born innumerable forms which in turn change and give rise to newer forms. And so on and so on in infinite succession. Nothing is permanent in the world of forms and yet the great reality is unchangeable. Forms are but appearances. They come, they go, but the reality is eternal and unchangeable. That's that great unity behind everything, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Everything vibrates and the vibrations change and stuff, but the, the ultimate reality behind them do not. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I mean, we, the family, we own some stuff that I'm telling you now will, will change your existence, right? You will change your place in existence. The atoms of the human body are in constant vibration. Unceasing changes are occurring. In a few months, there's almost a complete change in the matter composing the body. And scarcely a single atom now composing your body will be found in it in a few months hence. I want you to remember this was written in 1903. Vibration, vibration, constant vibration, change, constant change. In all vibrations is to be found a certain rhythm. Rhythm pervades the universe. Rhythm is one of the principles, one of the hermetic laws we talk about as well. So is vibration. The swing of the planets around the sun, the rise and fall of the sea, the beating of the heart, the ebb and flow of the tide, all follow rhythmic laws. The rays of the sun reach us. The rain descends upon us in obedience to the same law. All growth is but an exhibition of this law. All motion is a manifestation of the law of rhythm. Our bodies are as such subjects to rhythmic laws 
as is the planet in its revolution around the sun. Much of the esoteric side of the yogi science of breath is based upon the known principles of nature. By falling in with the rhythm of the body, the yogi manages to absorb a great amount of ashe, which he disposes of to bring about results desired by him. We will speak on this greater link later on, right? So, by you getting into a rhythm, right? So now, we got the, the complete breath. We Those that's an honest challenge, I shared the ashe breath with you, right? We got the cleansing breath. Right um, now, we're about to get the rhythmic breath. Right, so now I want y'all to think about this when you start breathing, right, and then on top of that, you master the breath, you got the retention of the breath, you've been working on that, master that part. But then when you throw the rhythmic breath in here with it, right, what starts to happen is you start to be able to get in rhythm with, in a sense, the universe, you know what I'm saying, with the vibrations around you. And you're able to help things manifest. The body which you occupy is like a small inlet running in to the land from the sea. Although apparently subject only to its own laws, it is really subject to the ebb and flow of the tides of the ocean. The great sea of life is swelling and receding, rising and falling, and we are responding to its vibration and rhythm. In a normal condition, we receive the vibration and rhythm of the great ocean of life and respond to it. But at times, the mouth of the inlet seems choked up with the breeze and we fail to receive the impulse from Mother Ocean and in the harmony manifest within us. This is when we start experiencing the confusion of life. This is when we might get stuck. Um, this is when we start to get sick, right? When we stop this, this high shade from being able to flow within us when we start detaching ourselves from the vibration of the world, right? You have heard how a note of a violin if sounded repeatedly and in rhythm will start into motion vibrations which will in time destroy a bridge. The same result is true when a regiment of soldiers crosses a bridge, the order being always given to break step on such an occasion, lest the vibration bring down both bridge and regiment. These manifestations of the effects of rhythm motion will give you an idea of the effect on a body of rhythmic breathing. The whole system catches the vibrations and becomes in harmony with the wheel, which causes the rhythmic motion of the lungs, and while in such complete harmony will respond really to orders from the wheel, with the body thus in tune, um, you can find no difficulty in increasing the circulation in any part of the, of the body by an order from the will. And in the same way, um, you can direct an increased current of nerve force to any part of the organ, strengthening and stimulating it. So you can control your body once you get good at this. In the same way, by rhythmic breathing, catches this, you can catch the swing, as it were, and is able to absorb and control a greatly increased amount of our shape, which is then, of course, y'all know I'm adding the word our shape, please, okay, which is then at the disposal of his will. He can and does use it as a vehicle for sending for thoughts to others and for attaching to him all those whose thoughts are keyed in the same vibration. The, from, the phenomenon of the, the phenomenon of um, telepathy, thought transference, mental healing, mesmerism, etc., which subjects are creating such an interest in the West or in the world at the present time, but which have been known to the yogis for centuries can be greatly increased and augmented if the person sending forth the thoughts will do as so after rhythmic breathing. Rhythmic breathing will increase the value of mental healing, magnetic healing, etc. several several hundred percent. In rhythmic breathing the main thing to be acquired is the mental idea of rhythm. To those who know anything of music, the idea of measure counting is familiar to others, the rhythmic step of the soldier. Left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright? Yogi's basic
creates his rhythmic time upon a unit corresponding with the beat of the heart. The heartbeat um, varies in different in different persons, but the heartbeat unit of each person is the proper rhythmic standard for the particular individual in his rhythmic breathing. Ascertain your normal heartbeat by placing your fingers over your pulse and then count one, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, you're looking for the rhythm. I'm going to help you with that. The rhythm becomes firmly fixed in your mind. A little practice will fix the rhythm so that you will be able to easily reproduce it. The beginner usually in inhale is about six pulse units, but he will be able to greatly increase this by practice. The yogi rule for rhythm and breathing is that the units of inhalation and exhalation be the same. We're going to just stop right now. Let's get it. When you are ready to close the exercise, practice the cleansing breath, which will rest you and cleanse the lungs. After a little practice, you'll be able to increase the duration of the inhalation and exhalation until about 15 pulse units are consumed. In this increase, remember, the units for retention and between breath is one half the units for inhalation and exhalation. All right? Do not overdo yourself in your effort to increase the duration of the breath. But, uh, but pay as much attention as possible to acquiring the rhythm, as that it is more important than the length of the breath. It is more important than the length of the breath. Of the breath. Practice and try until you get the measured swing of the movement, and until you can almost feel the rhythm of the vibratory motion throughout your whole body. It will require a little practice and perseverance, but your pleasure at your improvement will make the task an easy one. The yogis is almost is a most patient and um, persevering man and has great attainments and his great attainments are due largely to possession of these qualities. So the rhythmic breath fair. Now what I'm gonna do is one, the rhythm for for those that wanna get it and got the thing is breathe in two three four Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two. So we got two sets. We got eight bars, eight, a total of 16 bars, right? Hip hop. Breathe in, two. We'll let go. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two. All right. Sixteen. Now, sixteen bars. Now, we can increase it to thirty-two bars. All right. And it's just eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, hold, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's got increased. Uh, so we're going to double everything. We're going to double four to eight, eight in, eight hold. Then we're going to do uh, breathe out, ten. Then we're going to hold. It's all right, somewhere around there. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My fault. Hold. Two. Thirty-two. I think. I don't know. But I got it. Right? Y'all get the idea. But y'all ain't got to worry about the 32 yet. Let's get the four. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two. All right? And, and you do the whole, try to do the complete breath. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Now, when you breathe out, you can also throw the hum in there. Watch. Breathe in. 
Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. So now, for those that are new, the hum helps release more nitric oxide. So you got to go back three videos and check them out. Check out the power of nitric oxide. Now, family, kept my word. We are under 30 minutes. So we will continue exploring the breath. We will uh, continue exploring the food and some supplements. We will continue talking about these principles. Now, how does this fit with unity? When you start breathing in rhythm, you bring your entire being together. You bring the intuition, the mental, emotional, spiritual, and the physical as one. You are able to clearly see or get a better idea about your emotions because like I'm just beginning with this whole breathing thing, y'all. Listen, as far as helping with the emotions and aligning your emotions is a very powerful tool. And when you get the five parts of your being and the six emotions under control, right? And it's going to be easier for you to practice the seven principles. Very simple, family. Nothing complex. Very simple. Breathing is the key. All right? So this is Brother Hatim. I want to thank you for your time. And I really appreciate each and every last one of you. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Be sure to share. All right, let's build because we're on the movement. I'm gonna drink some more of this cherry juice and get in here and all that and do these dishes. So I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe, click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site should be right about there.